Hello Aries, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do an August update reading for you. This is a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I did pull your astrology card prior to starting the reading, and we got the Sun, which I love. We're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to start off with a couple messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed The decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. There is a link in the description box below that will take you to my website, along with any other information that you may want to know about me. All right, let's get started, Aries. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Aries. What does Aries need to know? I see that we're starting off with round and round on the bottom of the deck. Could be something that keeps happening over and over, someone that keeps coming in and out of your life, a change in the wind. That is about a storm. <laughs> Um, I call this card, we make plans and God laughs. So you have this plan, you mapped it all out, you wrote it down on paper, you did your thing, and then boom, something happens and the whole thing, you're just going to crumple it up and throw it in the trash, basically, because the universe is saying, nope, you have to deal with this before you can do that. So what's on the bottom of the deck? Loyal heart. So this does appear to be about a relationship is um, a good solid relationship it's you know similar to the two of cups and the lovers card it's about loyalty it's about truth it's about someone being uh, what's the word I'm looking for being there for you no matter what which brings me to the song that I got for you whatever roads you choose I'm right behind you, win or lose. I feel like you're making a decision or you have a decision to make about something and you have support. Someone is supporting you and saying, you know, it's up to you, whatever you decide, I'm going to stand beside you, I'm going to help you, um, you know, I'm going to be there for you. Let's get some tarot out on the table. Today I'm using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Angels, show me the messages for Aries, please. We're starting off with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Could be dealing with a water sign. The Queen of Cups in reverse to me is emotional exhaustion. That is... Um, sometimes you've given so much in a relationship that you just... I don't know. I feel like there could have been a breakup or something here. A breakup and we're trying to heal this relationship. Page of Wands. So that is my good news card. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. It talks about excitement and passion. Um, news that you can't wait to tell everyone. Could be a new person that you met. Queen of Cups is still on the bottom in reverse. Show me Aries please for... The rest of August 2020, Aries. Hmm. All right, I was getting a couple. Ace of Wands. Very nice. More passion. A passionate new beginning. Excitement. There's a lot here. We're taking action. Page of Pentacles as well. Could be dealing with a child because the sun card is about a child, as a matter of fact. So this is making a plan, a message about making a plan, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The sun card, I took a couple notes about that sun card, and it says, whatever the question, whatever the answer to the question you're seeking, the answer is yes. This is something that is the center of your life, the return to the light. It is about second chances. It is about transformation and rising from the ashes. Your health is good. Your energy is good. It's a very encouraging card. 
It overcomes all negativity. You could be in the spotlight at this time. You could be playing a leadership role. All the eyes are on you. You are shining bright. You are inspiring others. We have that here. Someone could be doing some public speaking, standing on a stage, being in the spotlight, but you're doing it with confidence. The sun also represents parties, fun, beaches, children, summer, creativity, teaching or learning showing your skills, generosity, compassion. You are being noticed. You will be rewarded at this time. You are taking action to take your place in the sun and shine in the spotlight. This card also represents second chances, regeneration, happiness, loyalty. We got loyalty twice. Vacations. The heart, the liver, the upper spine, heartburn, working with children, looks like somebody could be doing that, winning prizes, big homes, new furniture, pride and integrity. So I do feel like you have definitely have something new here. Pages are new. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. You have this. So something happened here and it forced you possibly into a new direction. This is learning, studying, possibly a job offer, a new beginning, something that's making you feel really good, a new relationship. Show me Aries, please, for that one. The Six of Cups reverse. So this could be someone from your past. Sign of Scorpio. I'm getting a child again. Children are very significant in your reading. But this, I feel like this is related. I feel like there was some kind of tower moment or something with this person. And because the Six of Cups can be bad memories. So something happened here, an argument, an explosion, a breakup possibly. But this is somebody that you know. This could also be a platonic relationship as well. Let's, um, the Two of Wands. That's my free will card. That is Aries energy. That talks about holding the world in your hands, having a decision to make. I like that you're at the Ace and the Two. You're at the very beginning of something. Even the Sun card is a One. Let's get some more information. Looks like you're going, you have a decision to make about a new path. Show me Aries, please. For the rest of August, show me Aries. We're going to take one more and then we're going to do some Oracle cards. Show me Aries, final outcome for Aries, please. Thank you. The Seven of Pentacles. So you have a lot of time and effort into a relationship, the emperor in reverse. Hmm, Aries energy. The emperor in reverse is someone that is difficult to get along with. So you may have had an, a fight or an argument with this person. It could be you. Not saying that you're difficult to get along with. I feel like the other person is. <laughs> Maybe you are difficult to get along with. I don't know. Truth be told. So some truth needs to be spoken here. I feel a like reconciliation on the table, a relationship that went through some kind of difficult situation. I do feel like this is about second chances because I saw the judgment card when I was shuffling as well. Nine of cups. There's love here. There's love here. There's excitement here. There's passion. There's new beginning. Let's get some... I'm keeping these readings short today, guys, because they're just kind of updates. So let's pull a romance angel. Show me Aries, please, angels, for, thank you, engagement. I mean, you're starting something new. And again, we have a book here, studying, knowledge, learning. Um, someone may have learned a valuable lesson from what happened bottom of the deck we have unrequited love see there was a relationship here that couldn't continue the way that it was and somebody left and you could have you could have left the past 
and, and you're having a new beginning and engaging in something else, you might have met a new person here. Hmm. Wish fulfillment. Let's get a Kipper card. Angels, show me the messages for Aries, please. Show me Aries for, thank you, community. That is help. Friends, family, loved ones. That is also my online. Maybe you met someone new. You're engaging with someone new online. Bottom of the deck, high honor. Hmm. I feel like somebody's realizing your value after this explosion. You know, this is, I'm almost feeling like this is a classic reading. There was some type of explosion. Somebody wasn't appreciated. Someone wasn't giving love equally. So somebody decided to leave. But with this loyal heart and that sun card, I feel like this relationship is coming back together. So this help by friends, family, I feel like there's a third party that's going to heal this relationship to pull this back together because there needed to be some changes. See, someone is realizing now with this high honor how much they really value you, how much they really miss you, how much they should have treated you better. Give me a, um, show me the seven of pentacles, angels, please. Show me the seven of pentacles. What do we have? We're waiting. What are we waiting? We've invested so much time into the hangman in reverse sign of Pisces. That's my freedom. Ten of swords healing in reverse. Um, but I do get waiting. Someone isn't going to make the first move here. Someone is refusing, stubborn. I'm not going to go there and tell them that I'm sorry because it was their fault. Like, that's what I feel like. I feel like you're saying this was their fault. They were selfish. They didn't appreciate me. I had so much time and effort invested into this relationship and they stabbed me in the back. It was a painful ending, but I don't feel like this emperor is going to admit anything because someone's waiting to become unstuck here. It's like, it's like you're sitting there just waiting for this person to come to you and apologize. Forgiving and learning. Yep. Somebody learned a valuable lesson here. They learned that they can't treat people that way. Show me Aries, please. I'm going to get... A final message for you from the Angel Answers deck. Angels, show me the final message for Aries, please. What do they need to know? Aries, if you believe, yes. Well, there you go, Aries. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, let go. Hmm. I feel like somebody did let go. I feel like... Someone really wants to heal this relationship. Unfor I, with this being the overall energy, I feel like it's you. doesn't have to be. Especially if you're the male energy. If you're the female energy, then this is who you're dealing with. I do feel like someone is trying to put the past behind them. Whatever the explosion was, whatever the unrequited love was, somebody needs to come back and realize your value. It's almost like you're getting justice without the justice card being here. King of Swords. Doing the right thing. Thinking clearly, speaking clearly. That's also public speaking. Someone is getting publicly acknowledged, publicly rewarded. High honor, son, community. And now we have the King of Swords. I feel like there's... Um, I feel like somebody does some public speaking on the internet or something. But yes, with an exclamation point, I do feel like there's a reconciliation. I do feel like there's forgiving and healing and learning valuable lessons. But with that said, good luck with your situation, Aries. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.